Alright, praise God. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He has brought us back in to, <clears throat> to come out of the distractions of this world to enter in. We have another time of Bible study as we all join together in one accord. And as we, <clears throat> as we come together, I welcome everyone here to Repairing the Breach Ministries. This Thursday evening Bible study. I welcome everyone here. As well, those of you joining together with us online. And just as always, as we come together. Be in continuous prayer, one for another. Uh, the signal that the broadcast go out uninterrupted, that everything will go out. <clears throat> be no interruption here, and no interruption uh, wherever. Wherever those are, those of you joining together with us online. Uh, so just be in continuous prayer, and and as well come and come, let us come together in one accord as we enter in into the as we as a, as our. The Lord allows us to start on, start up this Bible study once again. And uh, as, just as well, don't be an interruption or a disturbance and cause confusion or anything like that. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, but before we get started, let's all uh, bow our heads at, so I open up in prayer this evening. Dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord, for allowing us another time, another opportunity to, to, to enter in and in, in, to your presence, dear Father, to sit at your feet, to come out of the out <clears throat> this distraction of this world. And I thank you, dear Father, and I thank you for giving us safe journeys throughout this day, dear Father, protecting us, guiding, and keeping us, fighting our battles for us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. And I pray, dear Father, as we enter in, as we have another time, another opportunity to sit at your feet and to... <clears throat> And I wait for you to feed us your word, dear Father. I pray, forgive us of all the sins we've committed against you. Everything that we've done, dear Father, fought to fall short, dear Lord. I pray, forgive us, dear Lord, uh, and uh, keep us upon that straight and narrow pathway, dear Father. I pray, dear Lord, to, as we enter in, into your presence, dear Father, to remind us to, to empty our cups before you, dear Father, that there be nothing to hinder the receiving of your word, there be nothing to hinder... Uh, <clears throat> the understanding, dear Father, and I pray, dear Lord, to open up our ears, dear Father, spiritually, that that we can, uh, can that we can uh, hear everything and have an understanding of everything that you break down for us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you be in the midst, you be the foundation, the the, the rock, the stay that that we can, that we build the, uh, upon, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. I pray, dear Father, to. Continue giving safe travels upon those that are that that are on the road that are going to be traveling to get traveling uh, with to to join together with us, dear Father. As well, dear Lord, I, I pray, dear Father, that your peace and your joy will be upon us. Your angels will surround us, dear Father, that we can that that we can uh, receive your word, dear Father, with no interruptions and no disturbances, dear Father. I pray, dear Lord, <clears throat> that. All that you bring in, dear Father, will know that this is your church. This is the gathering that you have brought together, and your presence is upon this is upon this Bible study, dear Father. And let it be known, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, dear Father, as well, dear Lord. <clears throat> I pray blessings upon each and every one of us that ha that come together or to be together in one accord with a willing heart that you to receive your word. And I pray that you that. Uh, that it will enter into our hearts and fill us, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, dear Father. And Satan, I come against you in the name of Jesus. You will have nothing to do with this Bible study. You will have nothing to do with, with, all, uh, with our fathers hungry as we come together, <clears throat> to join together in one accord. Whether here or joining together with us online, you will have nothing to do with this service or or, our, or any of our Father's hungry. That is, we enter in into His presence, and I command you in the name of Jesus to take your hands off the off the broadcast and in the Wi-Fi signal. I command you in the name of Jesus to leave us and to leave us right now. You have nothing to do with this Bible study at all. In Jesus' name, oh, dear Father, we thank you. We praise you, dear Lord, for being with us, guiding, keeping, and standing on with us. And I pray that, you, that, that your fire will just rest upon each and every one of us, dear Father, that we will be able to receive your word with, that, with the excitement and enthusiasm, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, dear Father, that, that your Holy Spirit, that you... <clears throat> 
that you have sent to, for our guidance, dear Father, our comforter, dear Lord. I pray that your Holy Spirit will break your word, break your word down for us, dear Father. Everything that you would have us to know, dear Lord, I pray that that to let it be known to each and every one of us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord, that it will fill us, dear Father, and everyone will have an understanding from those that can only handle the milk of your word to those that can handle the meat of your word, that every single person will have an understanding and, and none will walk out confused <clears throat> at all, dear Father, or, or, or wanting, dear Lord. I pray, dear Father, to fill each and every one of us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And remind us, dear Father, to give you gl the glory and the praise, to give you all the accolades, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And now none of it to fall upon myself, that there may be no temptation of pride to enter in, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And I, and I let it be known this day, dear Father. I give myself unto you. I empty myself, dear Father. I come before you empty and, and praying that you will fill your servant, dear Father. With, with your words that you would have to, to, to be spoken, to the word that you have to be broken down, dear Lord. I pray, dear Father, I, I, I give myself fully unto you, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, not knowing that I can do nothing apart from you. I cannot teach, I cannot preach, I can do nothing, dear Father, apart from you. Therefore, I give myself unto you fully, praying in the name of Jesus that you will speak through your servant, dear Father, and let your word be made, be, be made clear to each and every one of us, dear Father, that we can all receive it, we can all uh, rejoice in it, dear Father. In Jesus' name, dear Lord, once again, I I give you glory and praise for allowing us to enter in, allowing us to come and sit at your feet out, out of the outside the, the distractions of this world, dear Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you, dear Father. And in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Yay, Jesus. All right, back here. Revelations chapter 19. We're on. Uh, we're on verse 4. We did last week, we did verse 1 through verse 3. And just as always, we're going to have a quick review of uh a verse of verse one to verse three and uh just a heads up i'll be read sometimes i'll be reading just as always sometimes i'll be reading out the niv at times and sometimes i'll be reading out the king james and i'll indicate which is which just in case there are <clears throat> just in case there there is a big discrepancy or big difference in, in, in the wording so no one can, so no one uh there's no confusion that goes around but uh, here we're, we're going to start up with a quick review from verse, from chapter 19, from verse 1 to verse 3. <clears throat> and I'll read it, I'm going to read everything the whole way, I'll read this, verse 1 to verse 3, the whole way through. <clears throat> and after these things, I heard a great voice of many people in heaven saying, Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power. Unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he hath judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and hath avenged the blood <clears throat> the blood of his saints at her hand. Servants, I'm sorry, servants at her hand. And again they said Alleluia. And her and her smoke. And her smoke rose up forever and ever. Now, as we started on this uh, last week in verse 19, that the great voice of many people, like <clears throat> just as we, the, the Lord opened up to us, that, that uh, normally in, in here in Revelations, when you hear a great voice, it, it's usually associated with God speaking or Christ. But here, it's, it, it's associated with, 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 as it said, much people in heaven. And these much people in heaven, with, with the with the uproar of celebration, the uproar of of gladness, the the uproar of of, of the <clears throat> of God Himself and, and what He had what He has done, we're saying, uh, "Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord our God," giving all honor, all praise, all. all Everything they have to God for what He has done uh, for overthrowing, <clears throat> over overthrowing uh, uh, Babylon. And here in verse two, the the, the the great whore, and He says that true and righteous are Thy judgments, and for He hath judged the great whore. That <clears throat> true and righteous. That there's not there's nothing uh, of uh, wrongful vengeance that has come that has come upon 
uh, the, the great horror has come upon Babylon. Everything that has happened has happened because uh, the, 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 the sin. <clears throat> where's that at, Father? Because of everything that, that, she, that uh, she has done. Uh, the, the the tormenting and, and, and the killing of the saints uh, here in verse uh, in verse what is that verse eighteen chapter chapter eighteen uh, verse five when we went over last week where it says for her sins have reached unto heaven and and God hath remembered her iniquity the sins have reached uh, unto heaven the, <clears throat> everything that was done to to Babylon, the overthrowing the, that when we read the uh, uh, like a millstone being thrown into the sea, all overcoming that that has done is true and righteous. That there was nothing, there was nothing uh, of uh, that anyone could say that uh, that was that God was in the wrong for doing. Uh, that that it was uncalled for uh, for what he for what he had had, uh, had done. And he says that. And, are his, it says, are his judgments upon the great whore. Oh, we already went over that. Uh, <clears throat> which did corrupt the earth with her fornication. This is just one part of, of the uh, true and righteous judgments. Uh, making Corrupting the whole earth. Uh, <clears throat> sit coming and, and sit on the sea. Uh, which, which, how the Lord... Explain to us the sea being the the the, the representation of, of the people of of earth, uh, and making them and corrupting them and cause <coughs> corrupting them with her fornication, with the blasphemy, uh, with with going everything going against going against God, and uh, uh, here it says and and avenged her blood and avenged the blood of the saints at her hand at her hand is meaning that uh she's the one that that killed them she's the one that that shed their blood she's the one that has done everything that at the end of chapter 18 it says and and in her was found the blood of the prophets and of and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth everyone that that at the end of this is the significant part here is, is of all that were slain upon earth everyone here that 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 uh through this through the 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 this tribulation and and, and the uh great tribulation that has happened it's all can be accounted upon <clears throat> upon her upon Babel, upon the great whore that has done that has done these things and and this is where we get here, where it says, and, and had avenged the blood of the saints at her hand. Because her hand was just dripping in blood. Her hand was just, uh, <clears throat> her hands were just uh, in that, uh, fully and totally in that. And it says in there in verse 3, going on, it says, and, ag and again, they said, <clears throat> Hallel hallelujah. And hallelujah. And, uh, Hallelujah, me, meaning uh, praise, praise ye Yahweh, or praise to Yahweh, <clears throat> that they're giving uh, honor and praise unto Him, and, and and He says, and this is the second time it's saying Hallelujah, and I believe it's four times it's it's said here uh, between now and in verse eight or verse seven. I'm sorry, that uh. <clears throat> That that here that uh is saying for for or uh, and her, and her smoke and her smoke rise up forever and ever. Excuse me. Rose up. Oh, what did I say? Oh, oh yeah, rose up. For her smoke rose up forever and ever. And I and the NIV it says the smoke the smoke of her goes up. Forever and ever. That this, this is that's the uh yes. It only goes up to verse six. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, no, that's that's what I said. It goes up. It verse, goes up. To, yeah, it goes up to verse seven. You said the eight, verse seven. Okay, all right. I just said it said verse eight, but then I dropped back to verse seven. But here, uh, going on, it says uh the the smoke the smoke the smoke of her. <clears throat> the smoke, the this smoke that was right that rose up from uh, Babylon, the, the, and the the spiritual 
uh, Sodom and Egypt. And it goes up forever and ever, an emblem of the of the uh, of it not rising again. The emblem uh, the represents uh, it, it not uh, coming up out of the ashes to to uh, to cause the earth to go into to corrupt the earth and to cause it to go into the the <clears throat> fornicate the fornication that that it had done and that's why the smoke right that's why the smoke rises up and, and and that it rises up and there's no ending of it rising up and now once again keep in mind that 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 all of these the the this is just the visual aid of, of spiritually of the of what is going to happen and now here we go in verse uh where we're at now in verse 4 in chapter 19 uh, we'll go on in here and this is a continuance of it this is and the and the four and twenty elders and the four and the four beasts <clears throat> fell down and worshiped God and that sat on the throne saying Amen. Alleluia. Once again, alleluia meaning uh pray, praise to Yahweh, praise to praise to Yahweh or praise to <clears throat> praise to God and, that, and the uh here the the four and oh amen meaning uh to be firm. To uh uh to be solid in, in what they in in all of this in their praise in the, in what they in their praise to God. And here it goes on that the, the four the twenty four elders these twenty four elders are are uh, they, they rep the twenty four the the twenty four represents uh, the the church and and it's and in in the Bible it's, it's presented twenty four is uh, represents the priesthood or, or represents the uh, the the worship <clears throat> also worshiping of God as we have here. But the these twenty four, it, it's the the, it's not uh, the twenty four elder is not a, a physical person there to, uh, but it, it's the whole church, the 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 church of the Old Testament, the church of the New Testament. Everything has come together, and everything come and, and everything comes together, and everything uh, is giving praise unto God. <coughs> These twenty-four elders, and, and here these twenty-four elders here is, is it, it represents the the whole church. But they, these are the same twenty-four elders. Uh, where's it at? In, in in verse four, that in chapter four, verse four, that fell down before the throne, uh, before the throne of God once before. And uh, let me see, chapter four, verse. Yeah, verse four, and as well the the uh, excuse me, the beast being the same here as well. But here in in here verse four, chapter four, verse four, where it says around it says, and round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns. <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me, crowns of gold. And that these are the same. These are the, this, and just as it just as there in, in verse, uh, in, in in chapter four, verse four, and uh, I believe it's verse five that they fell down before before God in the same way here that they fought that the elders, uh, in in the beast they fall down. And they fall down before God, worshiping Him. This is where, and, and I'm back at uh, chapter 19, our focus in verse 4. And, and it goes on and says, uh, uh, And worship God that sitteth upon the throne, <clears throat> saying, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia. This, this, this is the, the, the these are the, the uh, showing the reverence. As well, and, and and this is and all of heaven is is about to. We're going to get into this in the next couple, next couple chapters, I, I believe. But all of this, this is this is 
the, the, the marriage supper of the Lamb that, that, that's about to that's about to start. And in every in every thing in, in in heaven is worshiping God as we as it started with it with all these people in heaven in verse one that that fell down before or that that uh I'm sorry that everyone in heaven that that with a great voice uh saying hallelujah salvation and glory honor and power to Lord our God <coughs> uh as well here the twenty the uh, elders falling down the 24 elders falling down the beast falling down before him saying the the uh the same the same thing hallelujah and amen uh now here in uh and oh uh, here that the, this amen the hallelujah this amen uh th this is <clears throat> this praise that that's given it uh how does it help us with this father uh where is it at Turn over to uh to Second Corinthians. Let's see. Second Corinthians chapter one verse uh verse twenty. Here in, in uh Second Corinthians chapter one verse twenty it says for <clears throat> for all praise for all the praises of God in him are yea and in him amen unto the unto the glory unto the glory of God by us. And as well what it says in in John Chapter fourteen. Yeah, might, as well, might as well turn to it. John chapter fourteen, verse six. And I'll read this one out the NIV. I believe they read uh they read basically the same way. And it says Jesus an Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This amen and and, and this Christ was that, that is that embodiment of it, and him and Christ and God being one, and Christ uh, rep uh, being our uh, what is that our uh, our let's say well just say lawyer uh, being in, in our place. Uh, representing us uh, before God, everyone that walks with uh, walks with God through Christ, everyone that has accepted Christ as a personal Savior, that th this is that He Christ is as we just read in uh, what was that in Second Corinthians that He is a, in Him, Amen. In Him it, it is to be it, it is to stand firm with God, to be to be made right with God, to to uh, be uh, <clears throat> excuse me to be uh, to be be able to to call him Abba Father to be able to to stand to to uh not stand before him but but to be uh presented to him uh <clears throat> uh, uh it, through Christ and all of these and I'm back at uh chapter 19 and and all of this it, it is the 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 falling down of the of the 24 elders the falling down of the beast the falling down or the 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 great voice of many people in heaven and the, all of them uh all of them ending everything that they said with, with amen and hallelujah <coughs> to be firm and, and giving praise to God all of that and and, and for each and, and except for, not the beast, but but everyone, uh, the, these this great voice of many people in heaven, all of them being uh, being covered by the blood of Christ, being uh, covered in in, in being made to, being made right uh, in the sight of God by through Christ. This is the 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 and this is the where the roar comes comes in comes into play, and now here that uh in verse five. Let's see where we're at. yeah here in verse in verse five of Revelation chapter nineteen it says 
and a voice came out of the throne saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. Now this voice that's coming out, it, it, it's, not, it's not God himself because God is not going to say praise our God. Uh, <clears throat> and and it not, it not it's not necessarily cry because here whenever the like we went like we said before whenever uh in, here in revelations whenever it's god speaking or or uh christ you hear uh, it's a great voice or, or a voice of of uh, uh of of thundering or or something in that manner it's just not a and a voice it's not just a regular thing that you would hear but here the, the, this uh <clears throat> his voice that comes forth uh, could be one of the angels. Could be uh, so. Well, it, it's a voice that that was that came out of the throne or of the throne room. Let's see what does it say that in verse. Let's see what it says in NIV. Uh, where is it at? Where are we at? Verse five. Voice came from the throne. Okay, that that here that is saying praise our God. Uh, give, giving God glory and praise says in everyone this this in this instruction here this instruction here as it said it, it's for it, it says all ye oh, I said saints again all ye all ye his servants it, it, it's for everyone to lift up their voice everyone to uh, uh to, to give glory and, and praise unto God is for everyone to uh <clears throat> to that uh that that stand that uh that s says that they are uh a servant that say that they have a they love the lord it, it's for them to stand up it's for them to uh, uh to to give prayer where as it says here to to praise god and uh uh where's it at father Uh, as it says here, it says, uh, "Praise, our, praise our God." And it, it, like I said, not necessary. It, it's not Christ Himself, uh, <clears throat> because uh, uh, just like in, in uh, where is it at? In John, and this is right, uh, right before the marriage supper, uh, or the the marriage, yeah, marriage supper of the Lamb. What, is, what did I say? John, chapter. Chapter twenty. And it says this praise is going up. That here, that that chapter twenty, verse seventeen. That 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 uh oh, that's Luke. Whoops. <laughs> I wonder why I look funny. Yeah, I'll turn to it in a minute. What did I say? Chapter twenty, verse seventeen. And here he's he where he's talking to uh, I believe it's Mary where he's, he says Jesus said unto her touch me not for I am not I for I and this is out the King James I'm sorry uh, for I am not yet ascended to my Father but go <clears throat> but go to my brother and and say unto them I ascend unto my my Father and your Father and and to my God and your God. That this is this is a this this here where it's it's saying uh, all for everyone to uh, to 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 give praise unto God it says all all his servants that's uh, both heaven and on earth that here is saying I praise I praise our praise our God that those that that are here that that are still here on earth that that there is a that there's still that that uh curse on earth that that has been god has not uh as he has not uh cleansed or or totally removed it as of yet and that's what here that w with christ and, and john saying that he how in john he separated himself he's saying my god and your god because there there's that there's that relationship with with Christ and God Himself that that is that is not a 
is not as we have is not as the relationship as we have with God. That that uh, when those here on earth, uh, all of us here on earth, the, the relationship that we have with God is different from uh, even those that are even uh, those that that are in heaven that that have passed on that have died and passed on it or in heaven that that here on earth there's still that corruption there, there or there's still that curse i'm sorry there's still that curse there's there's still that uh that 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 uh flesh the 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 desires of the flesh that that are uh being being that battle that that's continuing and that here where it says praise our god <clears throat> all all ye his servants uh it that those here on earth do not have the the same the, that that same uh relationship a, a, as Christ would have just like the lord has just told us because of the 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 curse that's upon us the 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 uh filth if you will that that uh that it, it has clung, uh clung on to us but here yet and still it, it, it's saying here it says uh every for everyone to praise god uh to praise god and as well going on it says and ye that fear him everyone that that uh reverence that that has a reverence for god everyone that that uh uh <coughs> everyone that that that, that uh that will that will willingly fall on their faces before him, and in saying both small and great, that's that's everyone. Uh, that that's uh that's for every single person, every single person, uh, both uh, no matter uh, no matter who you are. If we say in in a phys if we put in a physical uh a physical way that both children both children and and, and grown ups or spiritually but those that have uh, those that maybe those that are uh 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 infants in their in their faith or in their walk and those that are mature in their faith and walk in their walk w w with God that all of, that everyone that there's no no one excluded just just like uh where is it at uh just like in in uh was that chapter 13 verse 16 with the beast where it says and he caused and he caused all both small and great rich and poor bond and free to receive a mark on, in their right hand or in their forehead but and when we say here both both small and great rich and poor bond and free every that that was that was every single person that that was that was to do that and in that same way here that every single person is to to give well every single person that 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 fear him as well as as well as uh uh are his servants that because here remember everyone not everyone on earth is walking with God as of yet because there well we just went over the the fall of Babylon in, in verse eighteen there there's still that there's still them that that are uh mourning and weeping over the loss uh uh the the destruction of of, of the spiritual Babylon. Right here, this is this is all of the this is all of these, uh, and uh, all of these at in verse eighteen, chapter or chapter eighteen, verse four, where it says, "I have heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of come out of her, that ye not that ye be ye be not ye be not be not partakers of her sin, and that ye receive not her plagues." That this is this is who they're talking about, or this is who the 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 uh, voice, <clears throat> the the voice from the throne is it, it, it is talking is talking about these servants that came out of uh, that came out of Babylon that who did not want to receive those plagues, who did not want to receive uh, that that punishment that went up that uh, was coming upon them. They are the ones that that are to give God. Uh, the glory and praise, both small and great. They are the ones that there that are to uh, get to to uh, say that that uh, hallelujah to hallelujah to him. And both small and great. And now in verse uh, oh wait, what verse are we on? Verse six. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip the verse. 
and saying here it says and I heard <clears throat> excuse me and I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude and and as the voice of many waters and as the voice of 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 mighty thunder thunderings saying alleluia for the for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth now once again this the the this uh the voice of a of a great multitude <clears throat> it is it, it it is these in verse 5 that we just went over where where the where the angels saying to praise God both small and great that everyone rose up their voice to do it and uh in this flip over to uh Isaiah chapter 17 in Isaiah chapter 17 verse 12 and 13 I'll read this out to King James and as it says it says woe well, to the many nations that rage they rage like a <clears throat> like the roaring sea woe to the people who roar they roar like the the roaring of great waves although the people although the people roar like like the roar of surging wave, surging waters when when he rebukes them they <clears throat> they flee away driven before <clears throat> driven before the wind like shaft to the mountains and you know, like a uh, tumbleweed before gale now th this nation th this what this is talking about is uh, the, the the people that roar the people that are crying they they sound they sound like uh they sound like at the same way as we just read in uh in verse in verse 6 the 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 great multitude sounding like many waters sounding like a, a mighty thundering that that everything that that can't that everyone that lift that has lifted up their voice uh, the the great the great multitude that has have lifted up their voice the same way here in Isaiah verse thirteen now he says although the people roar like a, a surging sea even though even that 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 everyone that that had that comes everyone that that their voice comes together <coughs> their voice being in, being uh on one accord uh rising up rising up their voice together will be such a such as this as it says here in, in verse six flip back to revelation as it says here in verse six a great multitude of many waters a, a voice of mighty thundering uh <clears throat> That all of this, as they come together, the uh, that both small and great, and now here both small and great it says all. Uh, uh, how's it said? In verse five, where it says all ye his servants. That was not only the that was not like it's, like we said. That's not only the people in heaven. That's all. The, that's also the people that that are that are upon the earth. Everyone is to do the, is to raise their voice up, and everyone is, is to uh, cry out, and, and as the, and as as and as everyone does so on being being on one accord, being as as one voice, uh, shouting with excitement, with enthusiasm, with praise, uh, with, with all their strength and all their might. It, so, it, it sounds as the voice of many waters. It sounds as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for God, for the Lord God is omnipotent and, and omnipotent, the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. <clears throat> all power, it's almighty or all powerful. That's what I omnipotent I mean and, and here saying this as the as as the as the uh where is it at in in verse chapter 18 I don't know why I keep saying verse 18 uh chapter 18 what is that verse verse 7 where it says how how much she had how much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously so much 
tor so much <coughs> torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I, I sit a queen and am not a widow and am no, and, and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. This is the, the, the this was Bab this was Babylon coming in and, 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 and uh being bold before God and, and, and saying that that I <clears throat> where it says I sit as a queen, sitting unbeatable, sitting uh on top of everything. And now here and, and now here as God thrown as as God has thrown down Babylon, as God has uh, toppled Babylon that everyone that was instructed to lift up their voice everyone that was instructed to, to uh, cry out loud with all of their strengths and uh, to, to, to us say hallelujah I oh, mean I lost it where is it at uh, to say pray, oh, praise praise our God <clears throat> praise our God that all of them were to do that because as they say here for God hallelujah for God Excuse me, for God, uh, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth, for the Lord God almighty uh, reign, he, he reigns, he, ta he, he uh, takes over, he has all powers. There's nothing that, that can uh, stand before him, there's no one that can overcome him. And this is why, this is why the, uh, the, the, this, this, this voice is telling everyone, everyone that has, that, that God has a, uh, uh, redeemed and everyone that God has avenged all uh, and brought through is to do it is to lift up their voices and here in verse 7 going on down in uh in verse 7 is saying let let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the for the marriage of the lamb is come and and his wife hath made herself ready. This is the this is the church that it's talking about, and, and the Lamb being Christ, uh, Christ coming back for his church to to take up to take up all of his church, and, and to uh, and 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 to how's it, Father, to uh, embrace it. And embrace it, uh, to, to not not that God, not that Christ has partially embraced His church, but but to to lift up His to lift up His whole church out from the uh, out, well, thank you Lord, out from the corruption of this world, out from uh, the battle that that we rage each and every day, each minute, uh, each minute, every second of the day uh, of of the flesh of of flesh. Uh, battling against spirit uh, of Satan, um, continuously bombarding uh, our our senses and our minds with with, with uh, things <clears throat> that are not that are not pleasing unto God that are, that will not uh, <clears throat> and will cause us to fall away from God, uh, right raising us up from the uh, from the, the, this uh, the, the the flesh. Uh, uh, how it is when when Christ told his uh, when Christ told his disciples to pray, and they and he went to pray and Christ went to pray and he came back and they were asleep. That was another bad. That's another bad. All of that is being lifted up off of everything of the flesh that battles against uh, that that battles against the spirit. All of that is is being lifted. All of that is being lifted up off of. And now here it says, let let us be glad. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage for the marriage of the lamb has come the time uh, the time that that was was spoken of uh way back in the in the old testament uh here when we uh in in isaiah what is that chapter fifty four let's see where is that at father isaiah chapter fifty four verse verse five Uh, is that uh, here? Uh, it says for for the met in this out the King James for thy Maker is thy husband, the Lord. The Lord of Hosts is his name. 
and thy redeem and thy redeemer <coughs> excuse me thy redeemer the holy one of Israel the Lord the God the God of the whole earth shall he <coughs> shall he be called and that this is this is that marriage supper that, that's that's <coughs> talking that we're talking about and even uh Hosea Hosea Flip over to uh, Hosea uh, right after Daniel. Hosea chapter 2, verse uh, 19 and verse, uh, let's see, in verse 20. I'll read this out. The, 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 the NIV it might be a little easier to understand for those that for the younger younger ears. It says here, it says, I, w I will betroth you to me forever. I will betroth you in righteousness and justice and love and compassion. I will betroth you in faithfulness. I, and and you will and you acknowledge, you will acknowledge the Lord. And this is that marriage supper of the Lamb. Even in the Old Testament it, it, it speaks it speaks of it. That here well, I got Let's see what chat. Oh, oh, verse seven. They see this is what that 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 angel, the the voice that's coming out, that's saying that here in uh, saying uh, let us let us be glad and rejoice, and give and give honor to him for the marriage supper has come. That the the church it, it, when it says let us, it, it, it's his whole church, that that that's saying that let us that the whole church is, is to rejoice. The whole church is, is to be. Is to be glad because the the time that that Christ w was talking about uh, coming back for for his church has come. He says here, and his wife had made herself ready. Uh, that his wife here, uh, here we we'll do ver we'll do verse uh, eight as well. That the, the, his wife has has made herself ready. That uh, <coughs> as in the 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 tenth ver that. Uh, the parable of the ten virgins in in in, in Matthew, where, where Christ said five uh, were foolish and, and didn't fill up their uh, didn't fill their uh, vessels with oil, and, and there were five that filled their vessels with oil. And when and when the uh, when the husband came back to or, or when the man came back, uh, that the five five were ready, the, and, and five were not ready. And when the five and, and when it and when the door was shut, the five that were not ready were were out looking to purchase oil but there were five that that uh made themselves made themselves ready and the door was shut and 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 and, and uh and it was and it was done and that's in words of that in oh chapter 25 it's uh start it starts from from verse 5 uh, i think at verse verse maybe 12 or 13 it goes up to but here that that this that uh, the lamb has come, and his wife or uh, the the whole church has made themselves ready because they have come out of uh, of the uh, as it's, as we just re went over uh, a couple times that where they heard the voice said come out of her my people that they have came out of Babylon and so they don't take partake in any of the uh, uh, of of the punishments that that come. And they have made themselves ready by not turning away from God, just like all the letters that Christ had, that Christ had John to write to all the seven churches, that they that uh, telling them to to uh, well to six churches. There was one church that was uh, thought they were alive, but they were dead. But but all of the all of the churches that the letter was written to, uh, they they were to turn. They were to uh, remain faithful uh, unto, unto God. They remain faithful to him and their reward will be will be given to them. And now uh, here and and this is and this is uh and this is the reward that is coming to that is coming to them. Here in verse eight he says to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen clean clean and white for the for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints that made the, the, that she his, his wife making himself ready <clears throat> make or making his wife making herself ready 
his wife and here it says and was granted to her that she should be arrayed in in in, in fine linen that this thing that that she should be arrayed in, in fine linen and and fine linen and clean and white that that this is this is the what uh the description in chapter 3 verse chapter 3 verse 4 in verse 5 said about the uh where is it at in in Revelation chapter 3 verse 4 and verse 5 Verses thou had thou has thou has few thou has a few names even in Sardis. Oh wait, here here it is down here uh, in verse five. I'm sorry. It says, "He that overcometh shall he that overcome, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot his name out of the book of life." But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels, making themselves ready. This church, the, the church has made themselves ready. They, and because they have made themselves ready, they, they have been granted uh, to, to be arrayed in, in, in fine linen. This is not the fine linen made, made uh, clean and white. This is not the, the same as the uh, description of the, of the woman. This this is uh, uh where, where everything w was uh worldly based, uh the, being made rich and, and and being clothed in, in fine things. This 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 is this is a lot greater than that. This is uh <clears throat> this is the the part. This is when Jesus said, uh, "Make your treasure uh, in, in heaven." Uh, and this is the rewards of it for walking with God. That He says here that they they're arrayed in in fine linen, clean and white. They're clean and white. Where's it at, Father? Uh, here in in uh in chapter seven, verse verse fourteen, where it says, "And I said unto him, Sir." Oh wait, was that chapter? Yeah, chapter seven, verse fourteen. It says, "And I said unto him." Sir, thou knowest, and he said, and he said to me, these are, these are they which come out of the great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and and made them white in the blood of the lamb. They made them white in the blood of the lamb. Uh, <clears throat> and now here it goes on, uh, back in verse nineteen, or chapter nineteen, verse. Verse eight. It says, "It says for fine linen. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. This, this is the. Uh, that, that this is what is. This is what they are clothed in, and this is what the, this is what uh, God. This is what God uh, reward the, not the reward, but but uh, to make themselves to to make themselves ready. Like in, in the uh, Old Testament with, with uh, uh, who is that Esther." I think it was Esther. Whenever she, uh, whenever she was uh, uh taken to to be uh queen, that that they that they uh made her presentable before the king. That they, they they perfumed her and 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 uh dressed her dressed her in that part in the same way here. That once we're, once uh <clears throat> once we once the the once the church is ready, it it, it it's a uh, it, it's granted. And this granted here is the the permission that that uh, uh saying that that Christ is, is what we just read that that Christ uh, uh Christ is in uh what what verse was that what um in in chat what we read in chapter three verse four and verse five where he where he uh, uh presents them be, before God how it let me look at it again see how it's said see how it's written uh where's it at father. Where uh, at the end of it, where it says, I, "I will confess, I will confess his name before my father and before his angels." This is the this is Christ uh, saying that that this is that they belong to, they belong to me. This is that being a this is that being granted. Christ saying they belong to me, being granted, being and being clothed in fine linen, and, and clean and white, and through the through the blood of the Lamb, through the blood of Christ. And now uh, here it says, uh, "For fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. The right being the the righteousness of, of the saints it, it is not uh, is not they themselves 
being being right because because of what they because of uh, what they have done. This is through through Christ that they are made right. As it said, like it says in in, in Romans was it in Romans chapter three verse ten. This is no there's none righteous, no not one. Uh, and I believe we read that in, in in church the other week, and it goes on uh, by uh, saying how everyone. Uh, here we'll just turn out. Let me turn to it real quick. Let's turn to it real quick. Flip over to Romans chapter three. Romans chapter three, verse uh, starting at verse verse ten, which is as it is written. Well, here we'll do ver- verse. Uh, Verse nine, verse nine, and says, "says What then? Are we better than than they? No, and no wise, for we ha- for we have before before proved both Jew and Gentile that that they are all they are all under sin. As it, verse ten, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. And from verse ten to verse uh, where is that? To verse to, to verse uh, nineteen. Or verse twenty, it, it you uh, you can read that all all on your own, but that that shows that where it says that none, none there's uh no one that understands, no one that seeks God, uh, everyone has turned away, uh, all have become worthless, uh, all of that 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 sh- that showing that that how how we how it's it, how we, it's not us. Uh, ourselves, but it's it's Christ that that is with that that has cleansed us through His blood that makes us right. And in the same way here, it says that's why it says the 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 lin- the for fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. That is because it, it is through Christ that that it, it had that uh, we have been made right. It's through Christ that we have been made clean. It's through Christ that we have been here, as it says here in verse. In verse eight, that we have been granted that we should be arrayed in in that fine linen. That it, it, it's every individual, everyone that that belong that has that not everyone that goes to church because uh, the devil can go to a church, and the devil a lot of times it goes to a church and sits down. Uh, but it's those that that have accepted Christ as their personal savior, those that walk with Christ, those that uh, how how is how we read in uh. Where's that in, in in Revelation verse four and verse five where, where he, he tells them that that he's going to give them he's going to clothe them in that in this white in in a white in the white robe and and here where it's, and and that is and that is the the linen of the righteousness of saints that is for that's what that is what the the apparel is the righteousness of of the saints the white linen the the uh uh, being clean, being being made white by the blood of the Lamb. All right, everybody got it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Any questions? None. All right. So here we where were we stop. We stopped at verse eight. So let's see next week. Oh man, I can't find. Oh, there's a pen. Next week. Uh. uh what is that? Seventeenth. No, yeah, it's November. So next week we'll start at uh verse start at verse nine, and I believe verse nine is. Well, we'll go down from verse nine to verse uh maybe down to verse verse thirteen. Read down to verse nine from verse nine to verse thirteen. Uh, and as you, as, as always, when you read God's word, pray, especially you're here in Revelation, pray and ask God to open it up to you. Pray and ask God to give you an understanding heart uh, with it and, and however God will uh, break it down for you uh, and do so. And then we'll go over it from verse 9 uh, to, to, what verse did I say, 13? Mm-hmm. We'll go ahead down to that if we get down to it, if we get the, all those verses done. But uh, just read that. Like I said, uh, pray and ask God to open it up to you. And uh, <clears throat> come back ready to hear it and ready for it to be broken down for each and every one of us. 
So if there's no questions, every it has set upon the hearts of everyone to have an understanding of it. Now, put forth the invitation of discipleship that anyone that has joined is joining together with us that desires to accept Christ as their personal Savior, whether you're here or whether you're joining together with us online, that. I say, if you, if, if you desire to, to accept Christ, not because somebody is pushing you to do it, not because somebody's saying that you have to do it, whether it's a spouse or loved one or a parent or friends, but if you desire yourself to accept Christ as your personal Savior, if you're here, we'll welcome you. Come on, I will welcome you into uh, to, to the family of God if you're joining together with us online. You know, I have to do it if in your heart you desire to accept Christ as your personal Savior. You just lift up your voice and just say, Jesus, save me. I know I'm a sinner and I know I need to be saved. Save me. Be my leader. Be my guide. Be my Savior. And, and as you do so with all of your heart, uh, lift, up those, uh, lift up your voice and say those words. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Your, your salvation has come. And your home is in heaven as you lift up your voice with all your heart and saying, Jesus, save me. I know I'm a sinner and I know I need to be saved. Save me. Be my leader. Be my guide. Be my savior. And as you do so, uh, <clears throat> remember that, that your, your, salva your salvation is set in stone. Your salvation has come, God. Your, your, your home is in heaven. Uh, uh, there's you don't need there's no need for any classes for your salvation to be complete there's no need there you don't need to go through any probationary period for your salvation to be salvation to be complete uh, but saying that 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 your your walk of salvation your salvation is complete but your walk has just started this 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 walk it, it is to be it, to be guided uh, guided by God this walk is to give everything into the Lord. Uh, letting him take, uh, there be some things that he takes out of your, some things and some people he takes out of your life. Uh, and there's some things, some people that he will bring into your life that he sees that needs to be there. Uh, as you, as this walk of salvation, this walk of faith uh, uh, starts for you. Uh, it, there, don't fight it and don't hold back anything from God. Uh, as God knows everything that you need in your life for your salvation, to, for your walk to be solid with Him, uh, for your walk to, uh, for you, for you walk, for you not to fall, uh, and 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 go back out and go back out into this world and, and turn your back upon Him, uh, but but uh, uh, as, as you do so, and and, be, and before all of that, uh, pray when. Pray unto God and ask Him to take you to a church that that He's going that He has waiting for you. That's going to help you in your walk and, and in your in your faith in Him. Uh, and, and when you and when you pray, always pray, <clears throat> always pray in the name of Jesus, and always in your prayer in the name of Jesus. But uh, let God direct you. Let God take you to the church that He would have you to go to. Uh, don't go out on, on your own and try to seek out a church on your own. Um, because God knows where He would have you to go, and this is part of that walk, uh, the walk of, of, of that, that walk of salvation that, that you have started in, uh, allowing God to take you to the church that He would have you to go to, allowing God to take control and, and do and do with you as as He would ha as He would uh, have it to to be done, uh, but. <clears throat> But just pray, and, 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 every t and every time you pray from this point on, when you pray, always pray in the name of Jesus, and always in your prayer in the name of Jesus. But just remember, to, to, as you ex have, have accepted Christ as your personal Savior, uh, let, give everything to, to, to God and let Him direct you in your walk. And uh, if there's any prayer requests, if, you, if those of you joining together with us online, if there's any prayer requests, our email address is uh, beneath this video. It's prayer at rtbministry.us. If you have, if there's any prayer requests, send them on in. Uh, once I receive them, I'll pray over them on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Once again, our, our email address is prayer at rtbministries.us. And uh, lastly, we'll be coming together on Sunday. Uh, we'll, on uh, <clears throat> for church for church service, 
we'll be starting once again once again we'll be starting uh an hour later instead of 12 30 we'll be starting at 1 30 uh, uh we'll start the broadcast at 1 30 and start services shortly after that um but uh if you if the lord would have you to join together with us here online if he would have you to join together with us in person we'll be uh we gather at the holiday and express here in elizabethtown uh the elizabethtown reams exit off of route 283 uh we'll be coming together gathering together uh and entering in at about uh 12 start or start gathering together at about 12 uh uh 12 oh wait no not 12 12 30 about twelve, about a quarter, to, about a quarter, twelve thirty, quarter to one, we'll be uh, coming in and, and uh, setting everything up and, uh, and and getting everything ready. So, if the Lord have you to join together with us in person, that we welcome. However, it would be whether it's in person or whether it's online, we welcome you to join together with us, lifting up our voices in praise and worship as well as as well as uh, <clears throat> sitting at our Father's feet and receiving His word. However, the Lord have you to join together with us. If he would bring you in to join together with us, we welcome you. And uh, if all hearts and minds are clear, let's <clears throat> all bow our heads to be dismissed out in prayer. <clears throat> dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord, for being with us, guiding, keeping, and standing on with us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for allowing us, dear Father, a time outside of the distractions of this world to sit at your feet, to hear your word, and to receive it into our hearts, dear Father, and breaking it down for us. We thank you, dear Father, and we praise you, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, dear Father, as we leave out and go back out to go back to our separate ways, dear Father, and go back out into out there into this world. I pray. I pray unto you in the name of Jesus. Is to be with us and guide and keep us, dear Father. Continue on blessing us, dear Father. Fighting our battles and giving us the victory over this world, dear Father. I pray, dear Lord, just to uh, bless us to, to, to be ambassadors out there in this world of your word, dear Father. For each and every one of us to be leaders and not followers. To be strong in our walk and our faith and not weak, dear Father. I pray, dear Lord, to bless us and and, and keep us, dear Father. Keep a, Be that a... a foundation uh, that we that we build our faith upon dear father i pray that your presence be upon us everywhere that we go and your angels uh, surround us and protect us in all of our travels as well dear father i pray dear lord to bless each and every one of us dear father and t and that your and i pray that your glory will shine down around us dear father and it will sh and it will be seen upon us as we're out there in this world dear father in Jesus' name, once again, we thank you and we praise you for allowing us to come together, to sit at to sit at your feet, to come together on one accord, dear Father. We give you glory and praise. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you, dear Father. And in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Yay, Jesus. <laughs>